Nestled in historic downtown Apex, there's a place where you can experience the wonders of craft beer. Enjoy a wide selection of beers from North Carolina, the U.S., and around the world. And it's only at the Beer Dispensary. Hi, I'm Glenn. This is Dave. We're the NC Beer Guys. We drink beer produced here in North Carolina. Provide our opinions to them here on our website. Also on our web blog, and you can visit us at ncbeerguys.com. Remember, drink local and keep your beer dollars in North Carolina. We are traveling back to Hillsboro again today to visit another brew from the Mystery Brewing Company. We are today drinking the Thornfields Inn. It's a smoked rye stout that we're looking forward to. Since early 2012, Mystery Brewing Company's mission has been to create a cornucopia of high quality, small batch, rustic ales for the discriminating consumer and to test the boundaries of creativity and style. The founder, CEO, head brewer is Eric Lars Myers, author of the book, North Carolina Craft Beer and Breweries. Find the book on Amazon if you're interested. Mystery is a seasonal only brewery and proud of it. Don't get Eric started on it. <laughs> they don't have a flagship beer, don't want one. They believe, quote, that what people like to drink changes depending on the time of the year the type of foods that are available in the local markets, the weather, and even their moods, end quote. Because of that, they arrive, they strive, I'm sorry, to provide a seasonal selection that's always fresh and reflects what they think drinkers will be looking for at each time of the year. Most recently, Mystery announced they can now find, we can now find their uh, beers in 22 ounce bottles. They're only releasing the four core brands from each session, season, so they'll have a session beer, a hot forward beer, a saison, and a stout from each season. And that'll be in bombers like we've got today. And Dave's gonna show us off in a minute. And you can find those bombers at your favorite bar or restaurant. And now available for you to take home in an easier size than ever before. One of those is what we're drinking today, the Thornfields End, the smoked rye stout. And another is the Pickwick Pale Ale, I mean a mild ale. English mild ale. That's right. Traditional English mild ale with hints of caramel and toffee, which we have previously reviewed about episode 70, 78 ish. 70, look back to 75 and one way or the um, So, we wanted to show you the bottle yeah. for the uh, Pickwick. We're not going to open that and drink it today. We're going to savor that later. That's right. But we will get into this one pretty good today, and we're just amazed at the graphics. Well, I love the artwork. artwork. So, the Thornfields Inn today is a smoked rye stout, as I've said. Described by Mystery as, quote, a robust, smoky stout made to pair with cold weather, the smell of wood fires, and fallen leaves. The stout is made using chocolate rye malt, creating a smoky, chocolatey flavor that blends with the light smokiness of cherry smoked malt. Great with food, especially steaks. Did you fix me a steak? Yeah. I, don't, I don't hear it sizzling. <laughs> um, stews, barbecue, and all manner of desserts. And it's got an ABV of 5.8%. So we're very pleased to have our first, my, my first bottle ever of brew out of mystery. And we've drank quite a lot of mystery brew in our history, but never but, out of the bottle. But, but, if you read our WRAL Out and About article, we've already had this. <laughs> yeah, we can't say, well, we've had it not out of the bottle. Not out of the bottle. Well, right. we did have it. So, well, I won't hard. tell you what I think of it before. I'll have to wait until he says his. At some point, it's going to be hard to find a mystery beer we've not had. <laughs> but that doesn't mean yeah, we, well, we won't we'll still review one. No, it's, no there's a whole we'll bunch that we haven't we'll touched. Review. There's a whole bunch we haven't touched. Ones that are like tongue twisters. <laughs> <laughs> but. Now, this uh, nice creamy head. Oh, yeah. Look at that. doesn't so much lace as it kind of just it's stays on the glass. Right. I mean, it's it's like, almost like a nitro head in the yeah, sense of yeah. the smoothness yep, of yep. it. It's crazy beautiful. It, it does. It just the presentation on this is great. And as you can see, the, yeah. the blackness and darkness of it is in, in the so right glass. That's, and in the right glass. We uh, perhaps could let it warm up a little bit. Um, well, it's my right temperature now. I, it's been sitting been out a while. while. Okay, mm -hmm. good. This is just... 
it's not, when you're dealing with a Roush beer, which is a smoky beer, sometimes it goes overly smoky. I mean, literally out of the fireplace smoky, which kind of turns me off. Well, and particularly and, turns me off because I'm not into the yeah, smoke Yeah, this, this, this is my area that I love so much. And so you're dealing with the level of smokiness, then how much chocolate? But this one, um, is, this, I know it's where you're headed, but this oh, is not too smoky at all. This is so smooth. Yeah, this is, it's smooth. It's, it, it's, the, it's so balanced with how much I want to have with each ingredient. It's beautiful. And this uh, light smokiness, as Eric says. Which is right. It's, and from the cherry smoked malt might be the difference for me because it is a sweet kind of smoky. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, if he likes it, then mm -hmm. you know it's not overly smoked. Because we've had the smoky right. ones where he's like, whoa. It's just too This I is just, yours. I don't want to have a barbecue in a bottle. I, <laughs> I just, I, or, you know, or especially the ones that I feel are more like some barbecue sauces overly artificially smoked with the medicinal smoke just like i think about some extracts and some fruit flavors mm -hmm. you don't yep. want the flavor to be too strong that it's not genuine and distinct mm -hmm. uh, so th i think this smokiness is excellent some chocolate chocolatey flavor comes through it's also light i particularly like the undertone the breadiness and the rye I mean, we shouldn't forget that part this is just, this is a, just a great i think the rice smooths it out a little yeah bit. I think it keeps it keeps the balance, you know, right where I need it to be. I just the, the body on this beer, the smoothness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just so, I, I don't know if it's better out of the bottle. Shouldn't be better out of the bottle. Shouldn't be better Darn. out of the bottle. Maybe I'm Darn. Just, maybe oh, I'm just look, <laughs> look what fell in my glass. Maybe I'm just in a better <laughs> drinking mood today. Yeah, I get to have the rest. But even with look at look at that. Uh, it's right. a freaking picture. This is beautiful. Right, as it breaks up. That's just oh, great. Right. Yep. Eric would love to see you in Hillsboro. What'd you think of it? I did, think did, did the beer? I mean, no. no you can I say think, it's, does it suck? No, it's, it's <laughs> far from so. Far from so. This is great beer. Um, this would be like a bomber for me. Bomber. Uh, maybe even a growler. I oh, like there this is beer. no, there is no maybe on a growler on this one. I, 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 I love the way this thing tastes. You rate it a growler, and I'll drink part of it. I mean, I really think this is excellent. Uh, I, I mean, this I'm gonna. Beer. This this bottle now is empty, so I have a problem because if I can't get this when I want it, I'm gonna have an issue. So now I gotta go to the store and buy some more because I want to have some. I want to put them aside because then in 2015. I could say, yeah, I have 2014 spear. That's right. Actually, probably bought it in 13. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's so. true. Yeah, yeah. It's not not when I get it. It's when you know when I've had it. Right. But I'm still going to get. I'm still going to get more. So kudos again to Eric for this uh, great production. We like this beer a lot. Eric would love to see you in the brewery in Hillsborough. Also the public house. The public house around the corner. Uh, he likes to always entertain his customers and hear their feedback on his brew. We enjoy always hearing what you think of what we're doing here. So give us a hit on the a website if you get a chance and let us know what you think of what we're doing and what you think of this beer if you get a chance to try it. Remember, as always, drink local, keep your beer dollars in North Carolina, and we'll catch you next time, guys.